Hi everyone, it's Mark from Cricketer Info, and we're actually doing two videos. This is part one, where we're going to look at a bat that was purchased and there was damage to it, which I'll show you at the end of the video. And then next week, we're going to see the replacement bat. So let's crack on with it. This is XX Cricket, first time I've seen it. Let's look at it. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're having a look at an XX laminate cricket bat. I got contacted by somebody on Instagram, I think he called himself Kingstar, and he said, look, I uh, really enjoyed your blank bat laminate um, review, which I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go and watch that after. But I've found a bat maker who does an even better laminate, or some words to that effect. So he's in uh, the UK and he says he wants to send me a bat. And I said, look, that's just gonna cost too much money. Let's see if somebody on the Discord server might be in the market for one, seeing that the, the laminate was really popular. So I asked on the Discord server and Rotho on there, that's his Discord name, he says, yeah, I'm keen, um, looking for a bat at the moment. So I put them in contact with each other and then he contact, contacts David Wollstenholme at XX Cricket, he's the bat maker there. Uh, he's been making bats for about 10 years, from what I understand. His communication with him was exceptional, and he uh, answered every question, sent photos, videos of, of himself making the bat. I don't have access to those. Uh, and this is the bat that turned up. So it's got the uh, VS Silver stickers on it, and it's pretty much the VS Silver profile, which is a mid to mid-low profile bat with a duckbill, as you can see by that. But the distinctive thing with this bat um, that also has pumped it up as far as the price, uh, which I'll say it right now, 450 pounds UK plus uh, freight. David isn't that exempt. So he couldn't get that 20% discount. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of money, but let's have a look at it uh, and see uh, how it actually performs. Cause I haven't tapped it up. I've just opened the box today. It arrived yesterday, I've been on holidays. And um, yeah, keen to, to have a look. So the laminated part of it, you've got one and then a second layer glued underneath that. So it's a little bit like, if you've ever seen those lammy toes where they put an insert in the bottom of the toe uh, as a repair when it cracks. This is just an insert that goes the entire length of the blade. So it's actually gonna protect any cracks from running from the, this layer through to this layer, then onto this layer. This bat is gonna hold up, it's gonna be durable. But it, also that, double layer of PVA glue, which when it hardens goes really hard, it's gonna give it immense performance. Um, and we'll see that I'm expecting when I tap it up. It's actually with me for knocking. Um, so he's ordered it without the scuff tape and the fiber, and we'll have a look at the face. So the, the top layer is obviously the premium willow, the, the stuff that's gonna give the most rebound, and then behind that is the other types of willow. So we've got 10 grains going across here. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Tiny little bit of speck, tiny little bit of marbling, but other than that, really nice straight grains. Um, if I was to show you those grains through the shoulder, you would see that they're dead straight going through. And the laminated section behind is a much thicker grain uh, than the one uh, behind that. And that that's the layer that is straight underneath it. So this shoulder is gonna be much stronger as a result. And then you've got the third layer, which makes up the bulk of the wood being at the back here. And this would probably be, oh, grade three, one, two, three, four, five grains, yeah. Um, and But it's nice and clean anyway. Um, one thing I did notice about it uh, immediately was the finishing was really nice. I did think that uh, some work had gone into it. It looks like at some point, I don't know what's going on this. It's like there have been some stickers here, but then they've been removed. It looks like it's pulled a bit of grain up here. So I'm not, so mid to mid low. So when we look at that edge profile, it's definitely peaking in a mid position. You can see that right here. Whereas that spine carries down a little bit further, uh, giving it lower sort of hitting area down here, but it should carry up uh, pretty well across the whole blade, not just because of the lamination, which we saw on the uh, blank bat, uh, but also because of that profile. It's leaving a lot of wood. There is a fair bit of concaving uh, in that profile to probably enhance pickup. He did say he asked for a 212 bat, um, and I haven't weighed it. He also asked for a 
thick oval handle. I would say this is uh, probably what I would call a medium oval handle, something very similar to a grey nickels, if, I, if I'm going to be honest. Um, maybe even chase. I don't mind the shape, to be honest with you. It's, it sort of draws a lot of wood back into this area here. Uh, a little bit of wood taken out using concaving, but maintaining a bit of thickness across this area so that it's not too um, weak. And obviously with that lamination, you don't really need as much uh, wood here so you can concentrate more of it down the blade. Um, so let's get the measurements on it and see what it actually comes out at. So we'll start with the width of the blade. Straight off, 107.6. No issue there whatsoever. We'll come up here to the shoulder. I'll measure across the top of the handle. And it's 38, which is good. And here at the shoulder, we're looking at 14 mil. So that's quite decent. The edge thickness here, we're looking at a 40 mil edge. Yeah, decent spine. Um, 67, checked it twice. So 67 mil. And the toe thickness looks to be quite thick. Let's drag this down a bit. And I'm gonna measure it this way because it's so ex exaggerated on that camber. So 23, and in the center here, 28.6. So I'm expecting we'll see about a five or a six mil camber. Uh, and the way to check that is obviously with the gauge. So let's put it through the gauge. And you can see here that it's almost touching. You're probably looking at about a three mil concave. And as far as the face camber, uh, it looks to be slightly under five mil, maybe four and a half mil. So that's nice specs. There is a tiny little bit of bow there, but it's not, oh, it's 55. Yeah, it's 55 mil uh, coming from here to there. So it's just the rounding of the toe that makes it look shorter. Now, what does it feel like? He asked for 212. You'll probably know if you watch my videos, I'm not really a heavy bat sort of person. And this doesn't feel 212 at all. In my hands, it feel, picks up really lovely. Um, yeah, I'd say it feels like a 2.9. Two uh, it's really, really nice pickup. So that's a really nice shape. So it's 2.10.5. Taken into account is uh, Australian conditions. Because of our, um, it's much, because it's much drier here, the bat might lose weight while it's here. I don't think it's going to lose a hell of a lot um, because of the laminating, but uh, yeah, it's slightly under what he's ordered, but it's a beautiful pickup if I've got to be honest with you. And, and with the lamination, I don't, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. If he adds another grip, he gets to 212 without affecting the pickup too much. I have a fairly good expectation seeing the, the quality of the willow and what we saw with that blank bat. So let's give it a tap. So it, it actually feels soft. It feels soft. Um, yeah, in that mid, it's pinging its own. So he's going to be happy. Uh, and even up here in mid high, um, I think it's just the same thing we saw on the blank bats. And when I actually prepare this, Okay, um, I have to say sorry, but we couldn't actually proceed with finishing this review because when, when I finally oiled it, uh, I realized, and hopefully I can show it to you, um, oil often brings up any issues in the willow. I've actually put some scuff sheet on this, but these little cracks here you can see, they're here, here, here and here, hopefully you can see that. Um, they've actually been caused during the pressing. And I communicated that to the owner 
who got back in touch with um, XX Cricket, and he has actually agreed to replace the bat free of charge, send him a new one. That's, that's amazing, because, uh, I mean, sometimes you just don't see things, and I didn't see that when I was actually filming the review or took it out of the package. Quite honestly, part of my process is that I don't do a full inspection of the bat, wave it around or anything like that until I'm actually reviewing it, so that I give you my honest first impression of a bat. I, I didn't pick it up, and it's not something that I would look for. I'm not uh, making the bat, and it's all to do with lighting. You know, in some lighting, it can really become obvious. It was when the, the roller went over it that the lines became more uh, clearer. So I've actually, um, for the owner, I've filled these up with very fine super glue. And um, that's why you can see a few little dark patches here. And um, said to him, look, I'll put a cheap bit of scuff on it and some edge, edge tape uh, since you've got now an extra bat, um, which probably has we don't know how much durability it's got in it. He didn't actually want to have a scuffed bat, he wanted to have a natural oil bat, but not in this case, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not critical of XX Cricket, these things happen, and it's great to see uh, an, an honest uh, bat maker actually come through and say, yep, I'll wear that, and uh, replace the bat. So good on XX Cricket for that, and I hope to see one of these in the future. So you're gonna have to wait till next week when I'll show you the replacement bat and give you my final thoughts on the whole process. We'll see you then.